Kalauea has been Hawaii's most predictable volcano for over four decades. Scientists could set their watches by its eruption patterns, but something has changed. The deep magma chambers beneath this iconic shield volcano are behaving in ways that contradict everything we thought we knew about Hawaiian volcanism. New seismic data reveals instabilities at depths never before monitored. Temperature readings that don't match any textbook, pressure anomalies that suggest a completely different volcanic system than what we've been studying all these years. The truth is Kalawea may not be the predictable giant we thought it was. And what scientists discovered in those deep chambers changes everything about how we assess volcanic risk in Hawaii and beyond. For decades, Kalawea operated like clockwork. Magma rose from shallow chambers, erupted through familiar vents, and followed patterns that made it the world's most studied volcano. Scientists built their careers on understanding its rhythms. Tour guides scheduled visits around its predictable lava flows. That predictability just shattered. The first sign something was wrong came from seismic stations detecting unusual tremors more than 30 kilometers beneath the surface. These weren't the typical shallow earthquakes that accompany magma movement in the upper chambers. These signals originated from depths where Hawaiian volcanoes weren't supposed to have active magma systems. Traditional monitoring focused on the upper 10 kilometers of Kilauea's structure. That's where all the action happened. Shallow magma chambers fed the summit crater and rift zone eruptions. The deeper you went, the more stable everything became. Or so we thought. The seismic signatures from these deep zones don't match anything in the Hawaiian volcanic playbook. Instead of the steady tremor patterns associated with magma movement, instruments detected chaotic, high-frequency bursts, the kind of signals you'd expect from unstable systems under extreme stress. Temperature measurements from these depths revealed another anomaly. Deep magma should be hotter than surface flows following predictable thermal gradients but the readings showed temperature variations that made no sense. Some areas were hundreds of degrees cooler than expected. Others burned far hotter than any model predicted. Pressure readings added another layer of confusion. Hawaiian shield volcanoes are supposed to have relatively low pressure magma systems. That's what makes their eruptions less explosive than stratovolcanoes. But pressure sensors detected zones of extreme compression at depth followed by rapid decompression events that lasted only minutes. These aren't minor variations in well-understood processes. These are fundamental departures from how Hawaiian volcanoes are supposed to work. The models that guided 40 years of successful eruption prediction suddenly became unreliable. What makes this particularly concerning is how quickly these changes developed. Kilauea didn't gradually shift from predictable to chaotic. The transition happened over months, not decades. Something triggered a fundamental change in the volcano's deep structure. The implications extend far beyond Kilauea itself. Hawaiian shield volcanoes were considered the most predictable volcanic systems on Earth. If Kilauea can suddenly develop unpredictable deep instabilities, what does that mean for other shield volcanoes worldwide? The Galapagos volcanoes, Iceland's volcanic systems, even the massive shields on Mars that we study through orbital data. Scientists are scrambling to understand what they missed. The monitoring networks that successfully tracked Kilauea's surface activity for decades never looked deep enough. The assumption was that deep magma systems remained stable over human timescales. That assumption just proved catastrophically wrong. The most troubling aspect isn't what we've discovered, but what we still don't understand. These deep instabilities could be isolated anomalies that eventually stabilize. Or they could be the early warning signs of a volcanic system transitioning to something completely different. Current eruption models can't account for these deep source variations. Evacuation plans assume predictable eruption patterns based on historical behavior. Risk assessments rely on the assumption that Kilauea will continue behaving like it has for the past century. None of those assumptions hold true anymore. 
Kilauea has become an unpredictable volcano masquerading as a familiar one, and that makes it far more dangerous than anyone anticipated. The seismic data from Kilauea's depths tells a story that no one wanted to hear. 35 kilometers beneath the familiar lava lakes and tourist viewpoints, massive magma chambers are destabilizing in real time. These aren't the well-mapped shallow reservoirs that feed surface eruptions. These are vast, previously unknown magma bodies that dwarf anything scientists thought existed beneath Hawaiian volcanoes. Advanced seismic imaging revealed the scope of this hidden system. The deep magma network extends far beyond Kilauea's visible footprint, connecting to chambers beneath neighboring volcanic systems. What appeared to be separate, independent volcanoes may actually share a common deep source magma supply. This interconnected system explains why the instability signals don't match surface eruption patterns. Deep magma behaves fundamentally differently than the shallow magma we've studied for decades. At extreme depths, magma exists under crushing pressures that keep it in a semi-solid state. Small changes in temperature or pressure can trigger massive phase transitions, converting solid rock to liquid magma almost instantaneously. These transitions release enormous amounts of energy in unpredictable bursts. The thermal imaging breakthrough came from a new generation of deep penetrating sensors that can detect heat signatures through dozens of kilometers of solid rock. The images revealed something unprecedented, irregular heat plumes rising from depths exceeding 40 kilometers, far deeper than any known magma source. These plumes don't follow the steady, predictable patterns of conventional magma movement. Instead, they pulse and surge in chaotic cycles. What makes deep magma instability so dangerous is the sheer volume involved. Shallow magma chambers contain thousands of cubic meters of molten rock. The deep chambers contain millions. When shallow chambers destabilize, you get typical Hawaiian eruptions with flowing lava and manageable hazards. When deep chambers destabilize, the energy release can be catastrophic. The connection between deep instability and surface eruption intensity is becoming clear through recent data analysis. Every major increase in deep seismic activity preceded surface eruptions that exceeded predicted intensity by significant margins. The correlation suggests that deep magma surges are feeding the surface system with far more material than traditional models account for. Scientists discovered that deep magma sources create more dangerous eruption scenarios because they bypass the natural pressure relief mechanisms that regulate shallow eruptions. Shallow magma chambers gradually release pressure through small vents and gas emissions. Deep chambers can build pressure for extended periods before releasing it all at once through violent eruptions that overwhelm surface containment systems. The time frame for monitoring these changes presents another challenge. Deep magma systems operate on geological timescales that span centuries or millennia, but the current instabilities are developing over months. This accelerated timeline suggests that whatever triggered the deep changes is still active and potentially intensifying. Recent measurements indicate that the unstable deep chambers are expanding. Ground deformation data shows subtle but consistent uplift patterns extending far beyond Kilauea's traditional boundaries. The uplift suggests that deep magma is actively intruding into previously stable rock formations, creating new pathways for future eruptions. The most concerning aspect is how this instability could trigger larger, more destructive events. Deep magma systems store exponentially more energy than shallow ones. If the current instabilities lead to a major deep source eruption, the energy release would dwarf anything in Hawaii's recorded volcanic history. The potential for simultaneous eruptions across multiple vents becomes realistic when deep chambers destabilize. Current monitoring technology wasn't designed to track changes at these depths scientists are working with incomplete data about systems that could reshape Hawaiian volcanism. The hidden threat isn't just what's happening now, but what these deep changes might trigger in the coming years. 
The deep magma instability beneath Kalawia isn't happening in isolation. Hawaiian volcanoes exist as part of an interconnected system, and when one component destabilizes, the effects ripple through the entire volcanic chain. What scientists are witnessing now could be the beginning of a cascade that transforms Hawaiian volcanism forever. The thermal connections between Kalawia and neighboring Mauna Loa run deeper than anyone realized. Seismic data shows that the unstable deep chambers extend beneath both volcanoes, suggesting they share common magma sources at extreme depths. When Kalawia's deep system destabilizes, it creates pressure imbalances that directly affect Mauna Loa's magma supply. This explains the unusual seismic activity recently detected beneath Mauna Loa's southwest flank. The potential for simultaneous multi-vent eruptions across Kalawia becomes realistic when deep chambers destabilize. Traditional Hawaiian eruptions follow predictable pathways from shallow chambers to established vents. But deep source eruptions can create new pathways anywhere the magma finds weakness in the overlying rock. Ground deformation measurements indicate that magma intrusion is occurring along previously inactive fault lines across Kalawia's entire structure. This scenario renders traditional evacuation models inadequate. Current emergency plans assume eruptions will follow historical patterns, with lava flows moving predictably down established channels toward the ocean. Deep source eruptions can bypass these channels entirely, creating new flow paths that threaten areas previously considered safe. The evacuation zones mapped for typical Kalawia eruptions don't account for simultaneous eruptions from multiple unexpected locations. The domino effect on Mauna Loa's magma system is already measurable. Pressure sensors detect increasing instability in Mauna Loa's deep chambers, correlating directly with the escalating problems beneath Kalawia. If both volcanoes experience deep source eruptions simultaneously, the combined energy release would create hazards that neither volcano could produce independently. The interaction between their magma systems could sustain eruptions far longer than typical Hawaiian volcanic events. New risk zones are emerging that weren't previously considered dangerous. Areas between the two volcanoes, once thought stable because they're not on direct eruption pathways, now show signs of magma intrusion from the shared deep system. Communities that built homes and infrastructure based on historical hazard maps find themselves in zones that could become active volcanic areas with little warning. The updated hazard maps reflect this new reality, but the implications are staggering. Regions that were classified as low risk now carry moderate to high volcanic hazard ratings. Property values, insurance coverage, and development plans all become questionable when the fundamental assumptions about volcanic risk change overnight. The economic impact extends far beyond direct volcanic damage. This research is forcing scientists to reconsider volcanic monitoring protocols globally. If Hawaiian shield volcanoes can develop unpredictable deep instabilities, similar systems worldwide need re-evaluation. The Galapagos Islands, Iceland's volcanic zones, and other shield volcano regions may harbor similar hidden threats that current monitoring networks can't detect. The cascade effect isn't limited to magma systems. When deep volcanic instabilities develop, they can trigger secondary hazards that multiply the danger. Massive landslides become more likely as magma intrusion weakens volcanic slopes. Tsunami risks increase when underwater eruptions or coastal collapses occur. The interconnected nature of these hazards means that a single deep magma destabilization event can trigger multiple catastrophic processes simultaneously. What happens next depends on how quickly scientists can understand and monitor these deep systems. The window for developing effective early warning systems is narrowing as the instabilities accelerate. The cascade has already begun. The question isn't whether it will continue but how extensive the effects will become before scientists can predict and manage them effectively. The scientific community is racing against time to develop monitoring systems capable of tracking these deep magma threats. 
traditional seismic networks only penetrate the upper layers of volcanic systems. The new reality requires sensor arrays that can detect changes at depths exceeding 40 kilometers, using technology that barely existed five years ago. The new early warning systems being developed combine multiple detection methods into integrated networks. Deep seismic sensors use advanced signal processing to distinguish between normal geological activity and the chaotic signatures of magma destabilization. Satellite-based thermal imaging can now penetrate deeper into volcanic structures, providing real-time temperature mapping of subsurface magma movement. Ground deformation sensors track the subtle uplift patterns that indicate deep magma intrusion long before surface eruptions begin. What residents in volcanic zones need to understand is that the old rules no longer apply. Historical hazard maps based on decades of predictable eruption patterns can't account for deep source instabilities. Emergency preparedness must now include scenarios where eruptions occur in previously safe areas with minimal warning. Evacuation routes that worked for traditional Hawaiian eruptions may become impassable when multiple vents activate simultaneously. The enhanced detection systems require massive infrastructure investments that will take years to complete. Current funding allows for prototype installations around Kilauea and Mauna Loa, but comprehensive coverage of the entire Hawaiian volcanic system needs sustained financial commitment. Scientists estimate that full implementation of deep magma monitoring networks will require at least five years, assuming adequate resources and no technical setbacks. The timeline for these monitoring upgrades is critical because the deep instabilities show no signs of stabilizing. Every month of delay in deploying advanced sensors means operating with incomplete information about systems that could produce catastrophic eruptions. The risk isn't just to Hawaii. Similar deep monitoring networks need installation at shield volcano sites worldwide before their hidden instabilities reach crisis levels. Understanding deep magma behavior has become crucial for global volcanic preparedness. The Hawaiian discoveries reveal that our fundamental assumptions about shield volcano stability were wrong. If Kalaya can develop unpredictable deep instabilities, every shield volcano on Earth becomes a potential threat that current monitoring can't adequately assess. The Galapagos, Iceland, and other volcanic regions need immediate re-evaluation using the new deep source detection methods. The research gaps that still need addressing are substantial. Scientists understand that deep magma systems behave differently than shallow ones but the mechanisms driving these behaviors remain unclear. The triggers that caused Kalawia's deep instabilities could be active at other volcanic sites without anyone knowing. Complete risk assessment requires understanding not just what's happening, but why it's happening and how to predict when it might occur elsewhere. The window for developing comprehensive monitoring and response capabilities is narrowing as these deep systems continue evolving. What started as an academic curiosity about unusual seismic readings has become an urgent global volcanic threat that demands immediate scientific and infrastructure responses. Kilauea's deep magma instability represents a new category of volcanic threat that changes everything about Hawaiian volcanic risk assessment. The predictable volcano that scientists studied for decades has become an unpredictable system capable of catastrophic deep source eruptions. Subscribe for ongoing coverage as this volcanic crisis unfolds.